For our third video, filmed back in January, we wanted to give you a remote match day experience, feeling the tension with the rest of us as we got closer to kick off, cheering every chance, groaning at every miss, gasping at every save, hopefully with a goal to celebrate or two. Being there with the team for the highs and for the lows. The game we'd chosen at the time was Abbey Vale at home. There was even the chance of having a few of you in the ground. Instead, Over the winter break, COVID cases had skyrocketed in the region. Lockdown resumed and to top it all off, a cold snap then postponed the game. With the league being suspended just days later, we caught up with Chairman Tracy McGarry, Club Secretary Mick McGarry and Manager Jordan Williamson in the aftermath of all this. I'd, I'd really, I, I'd come, come around Christmas time. Um, I, I thought, oh, it'd be great. We'll get a chance to cap off the documentary in a really nice way we'll have fans in we'll get a like a, a light, n nice little like um happy moment to end everything and say like look I, it's been it's been really rubbish um you know we do know we can't to, to make it make it ready for when you are back and, and all that kind of thing um and that like the hard work goes on even without fans there mm -hmm. and now, now we've gone to no, not not only no fans, but uh, yeah, like you're saying, no, no fit by nothing. It's, <clears throat> it's absolute. It's just awful. It's just <laughs> for one of a better statement. Yeah, it's just awful. It's one of those ones where you just we don't know what's happening. We don't know what's around the corner in this uh, in this um, in this year that we've, we've managed to start the season and. Just everything all comes to a halt. It's a shame, you know, we put so much effort into it to try and get the fans in. Like you say, if we it's all if much and if buts and maybes now. Um, you know, we could have had the fans in against Heston if we got sent the protocols quicker and then you know, we were looking forward to this Abbey Vale because not even not just the fact to get fans in, but the fact it was the first one of the calendar year and it was a, a massive three points that we could have Packed up then, and in front of such a, a big crowd, I think you know people would have wanted to come and see us. We've got a lot of signings, a lot of change of faces, a lot of boys have left, and it's a different style of football, a bit of quality on the pitch, and just everything was all geared up to it. And, and, and like you say, now, now there's nothing. Given their eyes and, and cases over the for the past couple of weeks, is I'm glad that it didn't happen. I'm glad that we've. We made the, the league made the decision, or the Scottish FA made the decision to maybe shut us down for two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. You've got a duty of care to everyone, you know, whether it be players, staff, um, volunteers, anybody coming in to watch. I've just missed having folk about. <laughs> and, you know, folk that have been there week in, week out for years and that they can't get in and they're desperate to come back. And I've just, I've missed all that. People that you would see in a Saturday and you get a crack with them. You do, you end up um, feeling guilty when you have to tell them, no, you can't come. Aye, you do. I, it is quite difficult. You know, you've, how is it, can I come in? No, I'm sorry, you can't. You know, they've watched Saints for, for years, but they can't get in. And you do feel bloody awful. I'm just missing folk about the club. Mm -hmm. The players are as well, I, because it's a completely different atmosphere for them. Yeah, so it is. I it must be. It must be quite strange for players as well, to be honest. You know, used to playing in front front of five men in a dog, but now it's just nobody. I need no dog. Uh, no dog. Mm -hmm. Luckily, though, they're, they're doing all right on the pitch. Mm -hmm. So that that makes it oh, a lot easier. I mean, makes it. It makes it worthwhile, but on the flip side, I think it makes it worse because we are doing so well on the pitch and. Nobody can see it. You want to turn around and say, well, this is what we've put in place. This is what this is why we appointed this manager. 
these are the players that he's brought in, and this is well, us, as a, us as, a, as a board, as a committee, this is how we're trying to move the club on. But you can't let folk in to see that. So they're seeing the results and they're thinking, Christ, they, they must be they must be pretty decent. But you, you see, well, I, you know, you can tell folk that you, you're doing all right and you're playing well, but Do until they, they see, yeah. until they see it for themselves. I think the biggest thing that brought it home for me was the day we went up to play Bosie and Thistle Hutchinson Vale up in Aye. Edinburgh. And we had players that have never played in a Scottish Cup game before whose parents and family we probably have loved to have watched, we couldn't even get in. They had some probably once in a lifetime moments that they would love to have shared with their nearest and dearest and they just couldn't. As much as I'm sure they still enjoyed being involved and it was great to be part of the team and their teammates all seeing it, it's not the same as your mum and dad seeing you playing the Scottish and Cup for the first time or your granny, grandpa, uncle, whoever wants to come and watch it. And it's, it's moments like that that people will now never get to see because of what's happened. Mm -hmm. It brings it all home. It makes such a difference to people. Yeah, it's, it's, it is, it's, it's taking a toll on, it's taking its toll, sorry, and, you know, as all, because we've got ourselves in the right mindset, we've got ourselves focused, we've got our heads knuckled down, we made good progress on the league and got ourselves in and amongst it, and here we are paused and, and waiting again. Can't wait. We can't wait to have our fans back, no, but at the same funny. time, we're not going to have them back until we're happy that we can do it completely safely. Yeah. Both for us and for them. Yeah. I mean, as desperate to have them back as they're as desperate to come back, but it's got to be right for everybody. everybody. Got to be right for absolutely everybody. It's got to be uh, nice that people are so so keen that they're they're getting on ladders over the hedge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making ladders over the hedge and falling off and uh, everything. But I, I think that just tells you what what it, it means to, what it means to some people. people. You know, they're still prepared to walk on the other side and the shore side and climb the fence to watch a game of football. Um, nah, that just shows you what, what it does mean to some people in turn. Um, but like you say, it's the most important thing is is everyone's health. Um, you know, like I say, I'm seeing it firsthand. Working with the NHS and being in people's houses, being in COVID properties to to pick up beds from deceased, and you know going into the, or, or going and picking up the the air mattresses from COVID patients from in all these care homes that are getting hurt very hard by by the COVID, and it puts things in perspective. Um, do you know that's that's the real that's the real battle we've got on, not not the battle for three points, but the battle for lives at the moment within the region and. Um, Let's just hope we, we can come out of come out the other side with 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 a victory.